Chick-fil-A cold brew hits hard. Got him. Got him. No way. Oh my God. Wow. That was insane. I figured there might be one under the drain and check us out. Oh my gosh. First catch of the morning before the homies can even arrive. This does not go towards the challenge. What? That was super sick. I literally just dropped the crack and crawl down in the drain. That is like what you try and do, but that never works. And you just know there should be a fish in there. And there's usually not. Oh my gosh. Would you believe that? That was something. And this bass was dark too. Look at the coloration. Oh man, that makes me a happy camper. I was wondering if I was gonna get any bites. Looks like they'll hit the cross today. Shh, gotta keep that quiet. My competition's on their way. You are literally right under here. <laughs> Weston, <Patrick. laughs> nice to meet you. Nice What's going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog today. We got a fun one. Fishing with the subscriber Patrick. What's good brother? What's going on? He actually texted me at 217-288-4070 and we linked up through the text message and uh, yeah, now we're out here doing a little fishing challenge for you guys. Something different. We're gonna throw baits that he brought to the table. I'm, I'm gonna throw them for a loop today. I think it could be a little sketchy on my end because you know I'm used to throwing my Guggen baits. I think you have everything but those probably. Yeah, <laughs> I actually, we don't carry Guggen baits where I work, so I haven't had a chance to pick any up yet. You have our Cabela's, right? Yes. And so, uh, yeah, I think he's got access to some juicy baits and lures, y'all. I'm ready to have some fun. You got any words before we get this thing started? You guys ready to watch Weston fail? Did he say that? Did he say that? <laughs> hey, I'm ready. We got a few hours. We're gonna see who can catch the biggest fish. We got three hours in a pond I haven't fished in a while. The thing is crazy. It's crystal clear. It was murky last time I was here. Got him GoPro'd up. We're ready to rock and roll. We're fishing with stuff out of this box or is there more? And there's more in here. And there's more, and there's more back here. Oh my gosh. We have options. I like options. That needs to be cleaned. <laughs> got An some plastics of old plastics. Okay, sweet, because I got a Texas rig tied on. And you know, we got the classic. The classic. Can't go <laughs> wrong here. Ooh, I've heard that these actually are good for chatterbaits. Yes. It's crazy. I've thrown so, them on the jigs, but it's not a slow moving bait. It's meant to be reeled in. Jig head. Oh, God. It's going to catch a five pounder. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually her sister's saltwater bag. So I might even pull a shark out of the pond today. I'm ready. I see a bunch of lures. I'm ready to tie some stuff on. I might start with something familiar, then branch out after a couple catches. That way, at least I can secure a little something, something. But we have the scale over here. Start with something familiar? I don't know. The fans want to see something different. They tell me they don't. Oh. It's gonna be tough not to throw that, but here I've already discovered that's gonna catch grass. Gonna catch. Yeah, man, I'm gonna try it. I never, I never throw anything like that. If you've seen any of the videos, you probably know. <laughs> yeah. Man, I think I'm starting off with this Zoom Cherry Seed six inch lizard. Look at this thing. You guys know I've never really thrown the salamanders or the lizards over here. So I'm going to take this crack and crawl off, which I secretly caught a fish on before Pat got here. And uh, haven't thrown Blue Baby in a while, so that was nice. Let's just toss that on the floorboard. Like the eyes are on top, right? So let's say the top is a certain color and the bottom is a different color, which is not the case with this specific lizard. But um, whatever you want to end up being the bottom of your Texas rig, you would point that, like this is the belly of the lizard. You'll point that towards the hook when you first go to rig it and it will end up being on the bottom. Now that he's rigged up, his eyes are on top. Usually the weight of that hook is gonna keep this bouncing along the bottom like this get your Texas rig set up and then realize oh your colors are flip-flopped and you want it the other way I got this fucking <laughs> quick release <laughs> I'm like screw it I'm like look if I'm gonna be trying on different lures today <laughs> all right I'm also throwing the salamander call that the uh, the good old strawberry pop tart Yours is more than, I think I'm throwing six inch. Yours might be seven or eight. Cause yours is a five inch. Ah, uh, okay. So I'm finesse over here. You should be fishing with one of these, man. <laughs> I might have to. Well, what's right around here? There's a the spot right down the street with three ponds. Okay, so not only are we changing baits, we're changing location, ladies and gents. So uh, let's get over to this pond Charlie recommends and see if they don't hit, baby. Just got to the second spot. Still trying to throw Weston for that loop. I haven't caught any fish yet. Hopefully this spot pans out. I'm gonna cast down here, one cast. Now watch me work. I got bites. I don't know if that was a bass, but I was getting bites. Oh, bass. No, I don't see him anymore, do you see him? I think they're, they're tucked somewhere. I'm gonna finesse him down. I only want a half a mander. Oh my God, 
How did you not get him? I'm surprised he didn't go for that. He's just not hungry or something. All right, let's see about these peepees. This whole bank right here. Whoa. This pocket is produced for me. Literally a crawfish bait. Like, this is off the chain right here. Oh, you gotta be kidding. This is nuts. If a bass grabs a hold of this, they're done for. I'm gonna try this trick worm in the secret spot. Probably. Nothing on the jerk bait. I might go ahead and try that lipless and see what happens. This one is? Uh-oh. Okay, Charlie showed us a honey hole. Although, the competition's between Pat and I. We ain't linking up, man, so here we go. Charlie with the first one, white chatterbait. It might be winter, but they're still hitting it. Woo, that yeah. Chatterbait. chatterbait just never fails, man. You can't go wrong with chatterbait. Never. Take it easy. We'll see you next time. Thank you for the bait, Patrick. <laughs> That's what's up. Yo, feeding time, boys. This thing is plump, and it's got a small mouth. This thing looks like a one-pounder, but yet, it's almost two because of how fat it is. Smacking the crankbait right here where the wind is blowing, pushing some smaller bait fish most likely, and that's what we're imitating with the crankbait, and it just smashed it right at the bank. Just how we like. Pulled the drag out for half a second. I was wondering what I had there. Charlie, go ahead and touch the fish. Otherwise, it'll probably focus on my face automatically. Gotcha. My bad. On the oh, camera. Oh yeah, on the camera. <laughs> just keep cranking. All right, here we go. Spotting on the fish. That was the first fish ever caught on Patrick's lipless crankbait that actually came in a mystery tackle box that he got. And I'm throwing it with that little swivel. I'm literally throwing it on that swivel. Let's get it back in the water. I gotta try and catch some more because I don't know if this is gonna be the winner of the competition. In fact, we gotta weigh this. We gotta weigh this. <laughs> 224. 224. 224. No way, 2. dude. 2.24. Two and a quarter out of the pond on the lipless. Oh, that yeah, is what's up. up. Yeah. It's going by hundreds, our scale, not ounces. So uh, two and a quarter, y'all. Let's get him back in the water. All right, so guys, Weston and Charlie are over here schooling me. They're using their moving baits. Charlie's over there using a white Z-Man chatter bait. Weston's using a, don't remember what brand, he got it out of my tackle box, but it's a lipless crank, more of a natural bluegill colored with a pink belly. So I'm gonna switch up to a natural Z-Man chatter bait with an Eliminator frog, swim frog on the back, more of a brown colored. So we're gonna see how this works out for us. Maybe I'll catch a three pounder or so. Get on the get on the top of the leaderboard. Let's try. Ooh, that feels good on here. Yeah, I bet. Oh, got one! No <laughs> Oh man, Charlie's got a split, but literally first cast on the chatterbait. Let's, Let's get no it. No way. Pound and a halfer, but again, like Weston was saying, they're getting fat. It's like that's like a, a little baby, but it's so plump. It's literally a pound and a quarter, pound and a half, probably. Yeah. I don't know. Pound and a half. Let's weigh it. Right oh, at the bank, just too. First cast. <laughs> first cast. First. No way, dude. They're so fat. Yeah, they're getting fat, man. Almost a pound and three quarters. Like this is a little guy, but he's just so plump. All right, get back in the water. I think we found that I'll hit the moving baits today. We jamming. All right, it's first fish on the board. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go scout past tackle box. The big catch on this guy right here. Check him out. That is what done got him. Go ahead and put him up, tie something else on. I don't even have to tie it on because I got that swivel, baby. Life is good. So we made the executive decision. I think uh, Patrick and I are gonna fish the creek again that we tried a little bit ago, but look at what we found in his tackle box, some little grub worms, and I've got mushroom head jigs. We're just gonna straight up throw these little deadbolts with this guy right here, and I think we can catch some fun little bass in this creek. This is gonna be sweet. All right, y'all, we hit the creek, and we didn't get any hits despite the fact that we had our baits right in front of their noses, those little grub worms and stuff like that. So we are headed to another pond down the street. It's gonna be our last one for the day. We got about an hour, hour and a half left to fish and then we're gonna call it. So let's head on over there. Getting ready to throw the first lure in the last pond of the day or most likely the last pond because we don't have a ton of time. We've been cruising around. I'm thinking this one's gonna be good. Ah, uh, it's not what I was hoping. All right, I'm gonna use this eliminator for a minute. All right, guys. Well, we wrapped things up. We all caught a fish today. We did have some fun. We didn't catch like 10. But... Yeah, we didn't catch 10. We got, we all got one. You got one before I got here. Yep. 
So you got two, I got one. Yep, everything today was nice and fat, very plump. It was all in one pond and it was like within a 10 minute spurt. So we just caught them on lunch break as I like to say. And uh, I do appreciate Patrick bringing out all his tackle, all his lures. I think uh, since I won the competition with a two and a quarter, I caught the biggest fish today. I think the winner should uh, have to give away a couple bags of baits. I think it's only right since I stole a bunch of his. Used and abused. <laughs> One log. But, yeah, we got different color. <laughs> hogs? French hogs. Dude. Alright, what do you got? Sally. What color? Uh, blue we are baby. Rocking blue baby. Got to, else. man. It's only right. I used all his stuff today. I literally like burned through a bunch of plastics trying to catch these fish, right? That's some, like some lunker logs. Alright, do it. Ed baby. Wait. That's the trick worm. That's mine. <laughs> that was his, it's now mine. <laughs> He's over at Cabela's, so maybe we'll do more fishing challenges, some Cabela's stuff with different lures he brings to the table, uh, or just anything, Cabela's challenges. You guys let us know what you think would be good, and uh, we'll see you next time. I'm gonna try and get him on some catfish here soon. He caught a 47 pound catfish recently. So we're gonna try and break 50 pounds on this catfish vlog, fishing with old Patrick. I'll catch you guys then, peace. <gasps>